to a day in the life of me working for Microsoft as an apprentice uh, during quarantine. So unfortunately there's no um, going to lunch or showing you the building or grabbing snacks and stuff, but I did get to spend my first three days on campus, but I didn't record that. So um, yeah, it's about 9.20 right now. Um, and what I usually do in the morning, because I work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., um, I review my emails and I review all the chats that I missed, um, if I missed any chats, uh, and then, let me see, and then I just check my schedule for the day. Um, so actually today is Thursday and I chose the least busy day because I was recording this video. Um, so normally my mornings are free until 10.35 when I have my stand-up meeting with my team. Um, and then I have about two to three meetings a day. Uh, they could be with my mentor, my manager, other people in my organization, people outside of my organization. Um, yeah, I just, I do, I do a lot of one-on-ones -on just to meet other people and get face-to-face -face contact. I've met with a good amount of um, people in my grade organization because on my direct team, there's about five of us, but I've spoken to like 20 other people um, outside of my uh, my direct team. But yeah, so just this morning, um, I'm just going to be reviewing documentation on GPIOs, uh, which is basically general purpose input output. Um, so for the last two, two weeks, I've been doing a lot of C programming um, on my team, on my apprenticeship, uh, because my team wants me to get into the product um, that, they, that they use. Um, and I have to basically understand, you know, um, the customer's point of view. So they wanted me, well, my, my next project is to program this um, further. Uh, actually, yesterday I spent my time. Sorry, yesterday I spent my time um, programming this device. As you can see, it blinks, uh, but I was I I made it blink blue um, when you when when the user does inputs. So basically, that equates to like a zero, I believe. Um, and then when you release it, it's a one. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, my team focuses on these type of microcontrollers. Um, and I just have to understand the documentation a lot more and, you know, work through C code and stuff like that. Um, I use to run the code, I basically use uh, some Visual Studio. So normally, People can't show you what they're working on in their apprenticeship or on their job, but this week is actually a really lucky week because before I was just doing refactoring of uh, for our tests in Python, and so that was actual like company code. But the code that I could show you, the C code, is actually a template that you can download from the internet. So, so this is basically the code that um, we get. That you can download from the internet when you have the device um, and using general studio you would just press play there oh. so yeah i'm just gonna get started on that uh and if i have any issues i'm just gonna be able i can ping uh, any of my teammates um and you know Normally when I'm waiting for a response, I just like do a little bit of reading of my C book and I'll see you uh, at stand up. All right, so it's about 
about 10.29, so my uh, check-in will start in five minutes. Um, yeah, I was just reading some documentation about GPIOs, and then I moved on from there and started doing mutable storage, um, and just trying to understand like how to write data, uh, and just try to understand the whole concept. And I was a little bit, I was really confused, so I pinged um, one of my teammates, and then he pointed me to another teammate. Uh, so yeah, so I'm waiting for my other teammate to like. Um, like schedule a quick chat with me um and also everyone for in my uh leap apprentice like lunch group they all just confirmed so today at one um we're gonna have our lunch so i'll be having a pretty late lunch today um but basically the name of our group is called get jigga with it um our first three weeks of our apprenticeship we were all split into like groups of five or six and my group we still meet up about every two weeks or so just to chat and see what's going on so yeah um yes i'm just about to join stand up in five minutes okay it's on now <laughs> So I just finished my stand-up meeting and actually the coworker uh, or my teammate that uh, was going to help me with mutable storage didn't have experience um, in the type of mutable storage that I, that I want to do with my project. Um, but actually that makes me pretty happy because uh, I just found, it, it made me like look more into the docs and then I found like samples um, on GitHub, public samples for their customers and stuff using mutable storage. So yeah, I actually prefer that because I don't know, I feel better when I figure things out on my own. Um, so I'm just going to work on that for the next hour, <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do lunch. So, yeah. So it is now 11.30, and I've been reading through the GitHub samples. Um, and the code looks a little bit complicated, uh, even though I'm looking at the examples, it just, I feel like that's not what I'm supposed to be doing exactly, like what I see there. So I just pinged my mentor. Um, normally we meet at 3 p.m. every day. We have a meeting today, uh, but we're just going to meet for like five minutes, five to ten minutes. Um, I sent him the link and the code snippets of what I was seeing so that he can explain to me, like, what this even means because I'm reading the C and I'm just like uh yeah I don't know <laughs> so I don't know it just looks way more complicated than what I need to be doing to just like what do you call it save my code in this type of storage thing so we'll see so we meet in five minutes yeah, that's what I was actually thinking, that it was, I feel like what I'm doing is supposed to be, is a lot more simple than what this code is showing. So it looks a lot more complicated. Yeah. All right, so it is now 12, 12 um, p.m. And I spoke with my mentor for uh, a while. Um, and I, I definitely got a lot more clarity in terms of like mutable storage and like changing the state of my lead lights. So basically mut mutable storage is like most storage, when you save it, it's only read. It's read only, but then mutable storage, you can store it and you can basically mutate or change the state of the storage. Um, so I guess each time I, I change my lead state, I can write that into the storage. So um, I'm just going to have to... I actually recorded, like once we hit 30 minutes, I started recording uh, what he was saying. Because it started getting really complex kind of but I understood at the same time while he was talking I was trying to like uh like catch on and stuff so yeah um just taking out my salmon for dinner tonight so that it like so that it, what do you call it so that it defrosts um 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to review that video, review the code a bit more, and then play around with my code and see if everything works. And I meet with, uh, I start having lunch. I get what up. Oh shoot, alright, so I'm gonna try this for the next half hour. And then I'm gonna just come and like cook my, 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 my brunch actually, because it's, it's, it's super late. <laughs> uh, alright, wish me luck. It's 2.17 right now, and I have a meeting with my manager at 2.30, um, at and then right after, it's going to be 30 minutes, because me, me and my manager, or my manager and I, we meet twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, for 30 minutes, just to talk about anything on my mind, or tech stuff, or whatever, and then after that, I have a meeting again with my mentor for 30 minutes, but my, uh, my lunch with my squad kind of ran over a little bit, so... I need to like try to understand what my mentor and I went over so that when I go back to him I'm not in the same place because I'm still like trying to process this thing but um yeah so I'm gonna do that right now for the next 12 minutes and I'll see you again after my meetings to go down and to see because it, it forces us to think of this low level and even if we don't always write our code down at this level we do write a fair bit of it. Um, it's, it's good to understand how that's all happening and say, hey, if I have a dictionary, how would I turn a dictionary into just a string of zeros and ones mm -hmm. so I can store them in a file on disk? Because at the very low level, a file is just... We want to switch the LED only when the user presses the button. So after the user presses the button, when the user releases the button, the LED stays at the LED... It stays in the LED that we had active when the user pressed the button, right? Hey, YouTube. It is... 3.56, so basically 4 p.m., and I finally had a breakthrough, and I understand what I need to do, like, so I met with my manager at 3, no, 2.30, and then back, like, back to back, I had my meeting with my mentor, and he really, like, broke things down, and I recorded everything, like, it was, like, a whole 56-minute conversation 35 minute conversation like and then he gave me the visual of what i need so i'm right now i'm so drained and like because i need to like process what i just read but basically what i'm doing is that like the the data that i'm saving is when it's is the is when the person presses the button so i need to persist that data and save that data like even even if power went out that data is saved and then i just need to save when the button was pressed not when it was released or anything else so i'm just saving basically the last state of it i have to rewatch that whole video and yeah it's 358 now and i'm literally gonna go outside like i even today was i got up a lot like Sometimes I'm just sitting on my sitting like straight through. Like there's a few times I never got to eat. <laughs> but yeah, like I feel so much more, so much better. Um, let me send it from the light again. Yeah, so I'm gonna go buy grapes. And then at 5 p.m. is the end of my day, but it's not really the end of my day because tonight I'm gonna watch two videos about pointers. And then I'm gonna do some more reading of my C book. Um, I don't know how long I want this vlog to be. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, review code and go through Stack Overflow and watch YouTube videos and eat dinner. So yeah, so I guess you can follow me. Oh, normally at five, I like walk outside like for an hour. So yeah, we'll see. So it's currently 4 
20 I think. So I got my grapes right here. And I'm just trying to get vitamin D before my last 30 minutes. Um, and then I just go for a walk like normally. I like to go to the lake because it's really pretty. And then I just study after. That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Hello YouTube, so this is the end of the video. I'm just gonna stop here because all I do in the afternoon is just do C programming, watch YouTube videos, talk to my family, talk to my friends, and pretty much nothing else. I don't think you guys have to see me like wash my face or shower or go to bed. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching and definitely subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos. Also follow me on Colorful Codes Instagram and Twitter. So thank you so much for following me for a day in the life uh, as a Microsoft software engineer in quarantine. If you have any other questions, definitely let me know. All right, you take care.